Right folks, very short video with Kodak. I'm getting a bus today because it's a, a walk where I won't be doing a circular. So I've got an early bus and I've come out to Hutton where I'm going up through Hutton Woods. A walk I haven't done for quite some time. And then I'm making my way eventually to Crook's Peak. And um, camera's playing up, lots of trouble with the camera. This is Kodak, I'm just using Kodak for a minute to do this small video as an introduction to today's walk. It's a lovely autumn day folks on the 10th of October 2024 and I'm making my way. This is just a small video to start the walk using Kodak. Beautiful views. Now over Western, one another reason I've disappeared is over Western as a massive, I can already hear the bikes a massive annual bike event going on. Uh, I think it's the quad bikes doing it today. They go over these ramps, you know, they go round and round. All sorts of activity in Western Supermare. You know, already the rave tent started up. You've got Palestinian flags flying over Western. Um, you know, there's all the bars, the food, all the mechanical tents for all the bikes that need servicing. Um, lots and lots of camper vans for, for these dedicated people who don't just come from England. They come from all over the world on these um, big bike events. And um, my son will probably be there. He's got a friend. He's got a couple of friends who uh, have been going there since they, they could ride a bike, a, a, a motorbike. They've been going there. The Duncan will be there. He goes every year. I don't join in. I'm going, I've come up into the wood over Hutton and I'm on my way to Crook's Peak by the way. So I've got a long walk ahead of me and I'm then going to get the bus back from Winscombe later on. So I'm having a gentle walk up this hill which is easier going up than coming down because it's very slippery here. Much easier going up and quite overgrown. I haven't been up here for quite a while actually and certainly not down it for quite a while. Um, it could be a year, I mean I'd have to look in the video diary. But uh, yeah we'll go up, <coughs> we're skirting Hutton Wood which is in there and I have walked through there a few times when it's died down a bit. Past the, the uh, gatekeeper's lodge or cottage and then if the fields aren't too wet I walk across a field later and get over a gate and then follow a bridle path to pick up the West Mendip way. Now I, prefer, I wanted to do the other way but to be quite honest this is I know I'm doing a hill now um, It's the it's this easiest route, easier route. So <coughs> I can hear some crows. I've come out here to free my mind from various things, have some exercise and some beautiful fresh air. Over and out, folks. This is Sheila. Right then, folks. This is Sheila. We've got two cameras, one for photos, the Kodak, and one for video, which is the little Sony. Now both of them are really filthy, the cameras, have, I haven't really, I've cleaned the lenses. The Kodak's had a bit more of a white brown, it's working a bit, but not properly. Keeps getting stuck on the zoom. Anyway, here we are, we're up here, above, Hutton Wood, we've just come up. I did a first video with Kodak just to get things started, just a small one. I'm just going to do small ones really. Now this, people who know me, who follow me rather, uh, or have, you know, not everyone follows me so they get bored. Oh she's not back over there again. But I haven't actually done this for a while. 
Um, I haven't done Crook's Peak for over a year and I'm doing it today. It's the perfect day to do it um, because the nights are getting drawing in. It is a big walk, this one, and there's going to be some magnificent scenery, but basically my, both cameras could pack up by the time I get to Crook's Peak. They're not reliable at the moment. So the white ponies are there. It's a lovely day. Beautiful day. And um, I need this day. I've got out of Western with all the pollution, the noise. Um, persistent drum beats all day long and night. And the humming of thousands of bikes and the pollution of course from all that a lot of pollution if I was to come up say say I come up tomorrow instead of today and we looked over Western we would see a cloud of pollution not today because they've only just started and it is going they do the quad bikes I think oh, I don't know if they do the quad bikes I have my son will be there Duncan will take some photos. He goes and watches it. Jolene sometimes goes as well. They support their friend who, who participates in the race. And another long-term friend of theirs since childhood, Justin, he always, he's been going there for years. He's probably even got his little twin sons um, involved. I bet he has. Oh, they got the dogs back. They usually have Irish wolfhounds there. Yeah, they usually have Irish wolfhounds in the garden, the, the cottage. And the ponies, they're coming. I haven't got anything. They're all in the, I've not seen them in that field before. But they have all this, the ponies. And they probably recognise my voice because I'm always talking when I come along here. Now a quick way out, because I'm probably going to get wet feet if I go through the field later. Um, if not, I've got to walk up another steep hill. Um, yeah, the quick way out is going up there, getting on the Roman road. But if this field is short like that, not long grass, it won't be so bad. So here we go, and they're the ponies. Hello! Good morning! How you doing, ponies? Alright, you remember me from past? I've been up and down. Yeah, you'll have to go in the other field soon, won't you? Plenty of grass. I'm just going on a walk. See you later. Well, you won't actually. I'll be coming back on the bus. I mean, I've often wanted to come from the other direction. But it is um, very uphill. Uh, steady uphill. Um, so we're going this way. But of course, if the grass is long, my feet, these little shoes have done well. It would be a real test for them. Nothing worse than having wet feet all day, and I've done that. It's not good when it's colder weather. Yeah, we're gradually putting more clothing on, I've noticed, um, as the, I mean, I never put the heating on until November, if I can help it. I think I got two weeks into November last year, and then I don't have it on very much. I, I try to keep a little bit in the morning when I'm on the desk, and then I allow myself the evening allow myself to have in one room heating on but at the moment I've got to get myself another oil heater but they don't last long only, the last one started leaking really early and, uh, and it gave off a horrible smell so that they've all gone they've thrown all those out anyway look at this picture 
this picture here. Now if the grass is long like this, this is where in a minute I'm going to get wet feet. So I might have to, I might have to walk through the wood and walk up the hill. Or go all the way to Canada Coombe and then walk up. It puts more time on the walk doing it that way. You know, it does take more time. Right then, I think I'll turn off for a while. Over and out.